first of all, this has been one of the greatest experiences that uh, my family has had, and I am humbled and honored that I get to represent the soldiers of Black Knight Troop, the families of the fallen, and of course, my family who's inside. I've got a lot to say, so I wrote it down and I'm going to read it to you uh, right now. Members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you for sharing this very special day with me. I stand here proud that I've been chosen to represent the 50 plus soldiers, the two Lafians, and the many Air Force and Army pilots faced with the impossible on October 3rd, 2009. I'm nervous about living up to the responsibility of telling their story with the honor and grace they deserve. I'm also nervous about representing the 1.3 million men and women who serve our nation in the Army uniform. But I'm eager to represent the thousands who suffer the invisible wounds of war. The Battle of Cop Keating is a part of me. The faces of Black Knight Troop's eight plus one fallen soldiers will always be in my thoughts. This is my deepest wound from combat. Only those closest to me can see the scars that come from seeing good men take their last breath. During the battle, I lost some of the hearing in my left ear. But I will always hear the voice of Specialist Devin Rex. I will hear his plea for help for the rest of my life. However, thanks to the professionalism of my platoon sergeant, Sergeant Hill, my behavioral health provider, Captain Cobb, and my friends and family, I will heal. But my words are nothing compared to the pain felt by the families of Cobb Keating's fall. I'm in awe by their strength. Their resiliency in the face of unimaginable loss inspires me to stand taller and live fuller. I promise the mothers, the fathers, and spouses of my fallen brothers that I will strive to live up to the responsibility that this medal carries. I give these men and their families all my respect, my humility, and honor. For my final comments, I'd like to speak to the American people. Ladies and gentlemen, please, Take the time to learn about the invisible wounds of war. Know that a soldier or a veteran suffering from post-traumatic stress is one of the most passionate, dedicated men or women you will ever meet. Know that they are not damaged. They are simply burdened with living when others did not. Know that they, we, are not defeated, never defeated. We are resilient and will emerge stronger over time. The Battle of Cop Keating. Two medals of honor, nine silver stars, 27 purple hearts, eight bronze stars with valor, three bronze stars, and 37 army commendations with valor. But the toll was high. Not of medals, eight soldiers died that day and another later. More than half of us were wounded, and almost everyone was left with a deep, invisible wounds to their hearts and to their minds. These are the unlikely heroes of Combat Outpost Key. Brave men, brothers, and soldiers for life. Thank you for listening.